Yes, all right, folks. Speaking of weather, natural disasters are a problem worldwide. Huge snowstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes. Preparedness is more important than ever, but it's more than about bottles of water and food from a can. Our tech expert and rugged survivalist, Stephen Miano, is going to give us some important tips on how to use our technology, everyday technology, yes, to yes, survive, yes, yes. Very Stephen. Much so. It's all about the zombies, Janet. Yes, it's they're all taking about over zombies. us all. They are. <laughs> well, but you got to be prepared. Um, there's a couple of things, you know, yeah. and actually I, I put something on Facebook saying, hey, we're going to be talking about this. Yeah. The first comment that I got is, if it's a real emergency, the grid's down, your technology's it's useless. It's not going to work. Right. Yeah. So that brings me to the very first point, okay. batteries, boys and girls. Mm. It's all about the batteries. You need, uh, you know, AA, AAA, yeah. preferably rechargeables. And um, I've got some cool gadgets at home, like a solar charger, okay, uh, which would allow me to charge up my solar batteries, charge up my smartphone, my Kindle, my iPad, whatever, mm -hmm. um, so that I could actually use those devices when the grid is actually down. Because, you know, a smartphone's about more than just making phone calls now. Right, um, I mean, you do everything on yeah, that. Yeah, there's an app. Actually, so. and, and while um, Alexis was, was doing the news, I checked there actually are a number of NOAA apps. Wow. Uh, they may not let you tune in, you know, real time, but you can, like, download a seven-day gotcha. forecast, things like that, get weather information alerts. Um, you should have a compass built in to your smartphone. Okay. Everybody does. You just need an app that'll tie that'll into that. It. Okay. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I'll just use Google Maps if, if something goes wrong. Well, Google Maps pulls that information from mm -hmm. the cell phone network. If the network's down... Then you don't have Google Maps. Right. <laughs> I use an app called Sigic. There, there's a number of them okay. out there. It's an offline GPS program mm -hmm. for your smartphone. So it basically downloads all those maps um, just you know in the background so that when the, the towers are down, you can still use the GPS chip okay. in your phone. Um, what we tell people and, and you know, what I've, I've read is you want to get like GPS coordinates for important places, family, friends. Or like frequented places, I guess, exactly. that you go all the time. Yeah. Okay. Um, store those in your phone so that you could get to those if you, or if you needed to communicate with someone else and say, hey, this is where mm -hmm. Granny's house is. Let's go check on her. Stuff wow. like that. Um, a flash drive is another. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. When you and I was reading about that, how how does that <clears> play in? Like, how does why is a flash drive well, important? Well, uh, my my brother is an, uh, an adjuster for an insurance okay. company, and and I talked to a bunch of adjusters during Hurricane Sandy, and one of the most helpful things was uh, when the guys were doing storm claim duty. Uh, some of these homeowners had a copy of their policy gotcha. on a flash drive because their physical policy is destroyed was under a whole bunch of water. That makes sense. Um, you know, documents are often made of paper mm -hmm. and they get destroyed. So birth certificates, banking wow. information, uh, your driver's license, your CWP, your homeowner's policy, pictures of loved ones, right. because you may not be able to boot up your computer, but as government agencies try and get things back online. Um, they'll have access. Yeah, that identification right. is gonna be more important than ever. And if you have to leave because maybe your house got eaten by a sinkhole, because you're in Florida, uh, <laughs> you'll have this, this stuff. Happening. Yeah, exactly, you'll have this stuff on a flash drive. So yeah, it's, it's just important. You wanna get a rugged one that's waterproof, um, they're not okay. that much more expensive, and they're teeny tiny. I mean, mine's and it's like, worth it when you're talking about. I mean, this is your survival, yeah, right? Yeah, here. I mean, it, it really is because with a little bit of preparedness, mm -hmm. your smartphone's going to keep you through, you know, yep. this event, and it'll also provide entertainment. You know, music, books, true, your stupid iPod games. on there. How yeah. can your camera help on your on your phone? That's a big How one. How does man. that work? A simple. A picture is worth a thousand words, and if there's a disaster, your house gets blown down or something like that, you can take pictures of that so that... Like document when the, it. Yeah, you can document stuff as it happens. Um, you know, that's really important because you may not be able to make phone calls. Very but, true. And you can send text messages. When, when the network is down, phone calls don't work. But, but when you, you send a text, text. message, gotcha. as soon as that network comes back up, those text messages, they get queued up to be sent. Um, right. That helped a lot of people during Sandy. Wow. Thank yeah. you so much, Techspert. Yeah. Stephen Miano here getting prepared. us prepared via our phones, folks, and technology. We have every 